so there's a couple of technology things that are really important about this stuff that admittedly, uh, I will say, are as yet largely unsolved or are difficult mm -hmm. problems. One is getting a lot of people in one space. I was mentioning we've been doing these load tests where we're kind of shooting for like 500 people in one space right now. That's kind of our big, you know, big wild goal. And we mm -hmm. hope we can get there next month. And I would say for those listening on the live stream, if you want to come in and try out High Fidelity and be able to do this that we're doing, um, even if you have a desktop computer, you can join us. And in uh, October 5th, Ashley, is it, when's our next load test? Uh, October 6th, Saturday, uh, October 6th at 11 Saturday, a. October, it's a Saturday, so you can come. But on Saturday, October 6th, we're having another one of these crazy tests where you can come join us. We'll have some trivia, we'll have contests, prizes, all kinds of stuff. But basically, we're just trying to get as many people uh, in one space as we can and kind of blow mm. the machines up. So that's one problem is getting a lot of people in one mm -hmm. space and then having it actually work in real time like what we're doing. The second problem, though, is huge spaces like New York. Um, mm -hmm. To actually uh, like render a large space that's all editable by others is like mm. still a pretty, pretty significant tech problem. It's one of the ones I'm really passionate about solving and one of the ones that I hope we'll solve in the coming quarters. But I'd like to see mm. like a New York scale you know, thing that was built initially from like the Google data or something, but then it was totally edited by all of us. Imagine if you could spray paint on wow. the walls. Yeah. Imagine if you could spray paint in New York, right? Just leave it in an alley and everybody comes and votes on it or something. I mean, that'd be like just absolutely super cool. Yeah.